So the first step would be to conduct thorough and scalable market research. Market research used to be kind of difficult to scale as a research specialist needed to physically run the research on focus groups in your target markets. This practice can still bring results, yet digital research is much faster and helps you collect data in a more scalable way. Conducting market research before anything else ensures that you start in the right direction and you don't waste time and money in something that might look appealing on your end, but the market just wouldn't engage with it. The second step would be to build a strategy. Um, some practical advice is to think in the long term, but no longer than 12 months in the first phase because the digital world is fast, really fast and getting faster by the day. That's why many marketers and executives think that digital transformation initiatives will produce immediate results, but they are wrong. Powerful digitalization requires a lot of hard work and attention to detail. You should have at least a clear vision about where you're heading but your to-do list in your first operative strategy shouldn't be longer than 12 months. Technologies and channels rise and fall as we speak, and you want to be agile enough to adopt new elements whenever you see it, it's necessary. If you are a decision maker at a larger corporation, normally you shouldn't expect to see meaningful results before the first year. Business environments are considered by many to be emotionless, strict, and super formal. While the back office works like that many times, your communication with your audience should embrace emotions. With the upswing of digital, the noise in marketing is also growing massively. Therefore, people have started to build a sort of immunity towards marketing efforts so it's getting a lot harder to grab someone's attention. Your voice in digital will fade away unless you differentiate yourself. Even though we talk about digitalization, the era of human-to-human -human marketing is rising. It may sound like a paradox, but it isn't. Digitalization is the methodology, but your voice, your messages and your communication should be emotional, hyper-personalized, and connect people behind your brand with people from your audience. So, as a third step, think of developing a digital voice that sounds human. Step four would be applying digital technology to your business. When undergoing digital transformation, it may seem like People from every direction are trying to push their miracle digital products to you. The bad news is that there is not one product that can cover all your digital business needs. Having said that, the good news is that you don't necessarily have to cover all your needs, at least not in the beginning. Rather than finding the perfect tools, you should draw the diagram of your digital ecosystem first. It's likely that you're already using some tools, for instance, social media. Try to think about how these tools are connected. Instead of looking at them as single vertices, connect the dots. Think of what else might be still missing in terms of your audience information. Is it their job experience? Is it their product interest? Try to fill in the gaps. Once you have a diagram similar to the one here, you're ready to start exploring the digital tools that can help you build your ecosystem. Whatever your findings are about the digital tools you are going to need, my advice is not to choose a single vendor. Try to get a neutral perspective from experts who don't get a commission on selling different solutions that might not even fit your needs. Last but not least, here's the fifth step, execution. 
you can have the best strategy in the world supported by the best tools. What if the implementation phase goes wrong? You just wasted money and time and you are back to square one. So how do you avoid a meaningless loop? Well, there are a few things you can do. First, have an operative strategy and live by it. For this, you need to have your project's to-do list clearly defined on a monthly and weekly basis together with your key milestones and deliverables. Second, avoid shared responsibilities. Only define personal responsibilities. It's of critical importance to know who is responsible for what right at the start of your project. This way, you will be able to skip the pointing fingers phase where people delegate the one thing that they shouldn't being responsible remember shared responsibility equals to no responsibility and third be consistent and follow up have a monthly overview with strategic stakeholders weekly conference calls with project managers and encourage project managers to have a daily stand-up call on their end in order to keep things up to date. Digital transformation projects can get pretty complex. We have to give them that. But if you have a good vision, a comprehensive strategy and agile frameworks at hand, it doesn't seem so scary anymore, does it? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn.